Here it is, guys. There it is. Oh, man. Look at that. <laughs> Alex Lagina, Oak Island historian Charles Barkhouse, and heavy equipment operator Billy Gerhardt gather near the swamp to receive a 35-ton long-reach excavator. Look at that. That's really something. That's a long chunk of stuff, yeah. <laughs> You don't appreciate it until it kind of turns and goes past you. Exactly. <laughs> With the capability of reaching up to 80 feet out into the swamp and to much deeper depths than they've been able to dig in this area before, oh, yeah. it is the team's hope to not only find more evidence that could help prove Fred Nolan's incredible theory, but also anything of value that might lie buried beneath the muck and mud. We have a number of items that we believe from a layman's perspective, can be associated with a ship or the building of ships even. Hey, guys. So now we're digging to see what's there and hopefully find some information that puts this whole puzzle together. Nice machine, Billy. Yes, it is, Marty. Hi, guys. Hey, Charles. You ready? Absolutely. I just wonder where you start. You like starting here. Rick likes starting here. Yeah. Let Gary figure out where he wants the material laid down. Right, we have to lay eyes on this because the number of finds we've made that are wooden, there's something in there, I think. Right. Yeah. Put her where you want it to go, Billy, and let's take a few yep. shovelfuls. Time to dig. Time to dig. Just doesn't want to come. Ready to go? Yeah, ready to rock and roll, Billy. Here we go. Ready for some slop. Oh, yeah while Billy begins digging with the long-range excavator. Marty Lagina uses a smaller 13-ton excavator to clear water away from the area as it accumulates. Meanwhile, Gary Drayton will scan the spoils for any potential metal clues or valuables. I don't know that there's a quote-unquote treasure chest or, or, or something that can be retrieved from the body of the swamp, but Mr. Nolan did find some ship parts there and his beliefs are now being validated because we are finding ship items. So if there is a ship there, then I want to see the evidence. I want to prove that indeed uh, at, the, at the bottom of the swamp there is a ship. We don't have that information yet. You want to walk in there? Uh, yeah, please. That'd be great. There we go. Thanks. You see all this water here? Yeah. The trench is starting to silt up. Look at that. Yeah. There she goes. Yeah. Hey, guys. Hey, Larry. Hi, mate. Quest of the shovel? Yeah. How are things going? Well, it's just getting going now. We're getting to deeper layers. OK. Now we're going to try to get the majority of that water to get moving. Marty's clearing the ditch a little bit. OK. So. The hope is that we can continue to move that way towards the areas that we have. Yeah, this high. this all falls within the yes. permit. Yes. Nothing there, Gary? No, nothing. No. That does not look like a. That's a pretty big log. That's a big stump. Yeah. How deep was that? Four to six. I think that's the root at the bottom, right? Over here? I think so, yeah. Pretty big, whatever it is. Color is like oak. Did you do with that, Gary? Yeah, I did it, yeah. No metal it's in that. Oh, well, it was four to six feet down. I mean, that says something about dry, it being dry land. Yeah. And then somehow four feet of organics went over the top of it, and then it became a wetland. Yeah. A possible oak tree stump found in the southern region of the swamp? Because oak trees cannot grow naturally in water environments, could Rick be correct that this stump offers more evidence that the swamp was artificially made? just like the late Fred Nolan strongly believed. One time, that had to be forest land. Yeah. Right? yeah. 
the tree of this size would not be rooted unless it were dry. It may provide a certain date as to when the swamp became a swamp, and it may be able to tell a story. I'd love to see a 500-year representation of what this may have looked like. And that could help explain some of the other things that are happening. That if that's a root, you cut it, figure out how old it is yeah. first, and then draw your interpretation from there. Yeah, yeah.